How can we speak of Jesus if we don't know the Bible, his own word? Nature reveals the greatness and power of God, but not his plan for our salvation. God's written word is the clearest revelation that we have of Jesus, the living word. Although the religious leaders studied the word of God, many missed its primary message. If we understand the Bible correctly, every teaching reflects the beauty of Jesus' character and his mission to save us all. When we share the word of God, our primary goal is not to prove that we are right and the other person is wrong. It's to reveal Jesus in every aspect. Jesus, the light of the world, is the only one who breaks through the darkness of misunderstanding about who God is and the nature of his character. Christ compares the word of God to a seed. It's life-giving. Seeds take time to grow. Not all seeds germinate at the same time. When we plant the word of God in the hearts of others, we won't always see immediate results. But silently, the seed is growing in God's own time. Jesus' word is also like nourishing bread. His daily presence in our lives satisfies the hunger of the soul and nourishes our deepest longings. God's word also has power to accomplish what it declares. While human words can speak of what currently is, God speaks of things that are yet to be done. His word is a creative word. In the beginning, when God spoke, dry land appeared, plants sprouted, flowers blossomed, fruit trees flourished, and animals sprang forth. The same power in God's spoken word is in his written word. God is present when we read the Bible and when we share it with others. The creative energy that called the world into existence recreates our soul in the image of God. The Bible contains more than 3,000 promises. Each of them comes from the heart of a loving God who is able to do extraordinarily more than we ask or think. Our Creator cares deeply for us. It's our lack of faith in God's ability to do what He's promised in His Word that limits their fulfillment in us. We may be hesitant to ask people if we can pray with them, share a Bible promise, or give them something to read. More often than not, when we feel impressed to share our faith with someone, the Holy Spirit has already impressed that person to receive our witness. So why don't you pray that God will lead you this week to someone who needs the hope of His promises?